Hi friends, I'm David and today I am going to install a third hard drive on my Asus G75VW Republic of Gamers laptop. My laptop is running out of hard drive space. And uh, since I don't use the DVD drive, I got a little something. So, let's see. And that little something is a second hard drive caddy that we use to install a new hard drive. So let's get the new hard drive out of here. And uh, this comes in an OEM package, meaning it doesn't come branded or anything. It's simply reduce unnecessary costs. And here is the hard drive. Okay, so it's a Western Digital black hard drive, one terabyte. And this hard drive will come here on my laptop's DVD bay. Okay, so I'll be replacing the bay for a third hard drive. Okay, so before we get started, we're going to get this thing out of the uh, packaging. Uh, it comes with the uh, staple up here, so just remove that staple. Okay. And we got the caddy itself out. Now, the caddy itself comes with a small screwdriver. And uh, the screws themselves for holding your hard drive come already installed on the thread, on the bay itself. So that makes it easier for uh, installing your new hard drive because these hard drives, they don't come with screws. So yeah, this one over here and then uh, the front, this over here, you can just replace it with uh, your uh, laptop's uh, front uh, for your DVD or Blu-ray cover. That way it matches exactly your specific device and you can uh, insert, insert it in one of those uh, um, empty drive trays for making your internal DVD drive, uh, laptop drive, into an external drive. So that, no. We just get the hard drive out of here. Comes with a little silica over here to keep it intact. And uh, this goes lined in here. Okay, so uh, first things first is uh, we remove this uh, plastic coating from the uh, drive caddy. All right. So you just unscrew these. Okay, you gotta unscrew these until your drive is able to fit through. Now, another thing to notice is uh, over here, there's this little switch. This one will allow you to know which uh, SATA setting to use. Uh, it doesn't specify anything on it. Uh, so you pretty much have to guess, I guess. Uh, it should be plug and play, but I, uh, it's, it should be for SATA 1, 2, and 3. Um, Ideally, if your computer supports SATA 3, then that's pretty much what it's going to use. Okay, so there we go, we inserted the drive. Now we just secure it. See, there's no screws there, so we just gotta secure it. And just easily screw it in don't 
Don't worry about making it too tight because all you're doing is just securing the hard drive to the uh, to the caddy. So as long as it's being held in place, that's all that really matters. Done. And all right, so that's pretty much how you install the hard drive inside of this uh, uh, caddy. The next step on our video is to actually uh, remove the old DVD bay and replace uh, the hard drive. Now this applies the same for adding a second hard drive or replacing the first hard drive. So there we go. Flip it, remove the battery, extremely important, and then just uh, remove, there's a tiny little screw over here, I would just remove it. And here we have two drive bays, left and right. Also, if you want to replace the RAM, it's just as simple as adding and removing the memory. An awesome thing about the Republic of Gamer laptops is they come with some filters for your uh, for, for your fans, so it's easy to clean them. Now, whenever you're cleaning your fans, make sure that you hold it and you spray it. Don't spray it from inside because that's going to block the fan. So just spray it from over there, out here. That'll make it easy and everything will gunk out through here. All right, next thing is we're going to remove the drive bay. Okay, so this screw over here is the one that holds the little uh, clip for the drive. So we gotta just remove it, okay. And the drive itself slides out. Take the screw out with you and slide the drive bay out. All right, so now that this is slided out, uh, notice that this is definitely different than this. The other thing we're gonna be doing is we're going to be removing these back here and placing them on here. So we're gonna reuse the same screws and we're gonna place them on here. So, just tighten it. This fits in just as we want it to. The drive bay itself slides in like that, just to give you a general idea, okay? So it slides in like that. It has a little tab in here. There's an extra tab in the middle. It is a little bit delicate, so. There we go. All right, so once we take it out, see, this little LED light is uh, the one that is actually going to be uh, flashing as if it was the uh, DVD drive uh, button itself whenever it's in use. So that's pretty much what it's gonna be doing. Open the drive bay. And Inside of here, we're going to look for the tabbies that allow us to release the drive bay. Okay, so here it is, it's out. Now let's give it a little quick wipe. There's the button itself, which won't do anything anymore. And uh, what we're going to be doing now is, as you remember, this faces down this way, so align it slide it in place and it fits perfectly add the original screw in here and 
Okay, so we're going to uh, test now if everything is working correctly. So the third drive should be now identified by the computer itself when we turn it on. And okay, first things you notice is the two hard drives that were originally in there, the uh, main drive and the uh, secondary hard drive that we already had uh, installed, the Toshiba and the, Sun and the Seagate, okay? It's not recognized right away, but that is easily, uh, the reason is because it hasn't been formatted. So let's just go under manage. And if for whatever reason it wasn't recognized, we probably just have to toggle the switch uh, for the SATA. So that's probably the reason why some people were having trouble with this is was because it wasn't uh, on the right switch toggle for their computer, okay? For their drive. So let's see, uh, device manager. It should show under disk drives. So I don't see the disk drive in here. Uh, that means that it did not recognize it under that specific uh, SATA setting. So for that, we have to actually open up the computer again, the bottom of it, and uh, find, uh, uh, replace the SATA setting to the one that actually applies to our case. All right, so close and hibernate. Let's just remove the screw for securing the hard drive uh, tray and bay in place. All right, so. There's a little tab in here that uh, we just toggle it to the desired setting. In this particular case, we're going to toggle it to the third side, all the way to the right. And uh, let's try again, okay? If it doesn't work all the way to the right, then we'll just try with one in the middle. And we're going to see if we actually find the additional hard drive. So, okay, so there we go. SATA port zero, that's the first hard drive, that's the Seagate. Uh, zero ATA port one, that's the Toshiba. And zero port, uh, serial ATA port two, that's the new Western Digital Black hard drive. So that means that now our BIOS is able to recognize the hard drive. So that is a great thing, okay? Uh, And once again, we're going to launch Device Manager and we're going to open my computer. Uh, notice we still don't see the drives themselves over here, the third drive. Uh, but if we wait for Device Manager to open, we might be able to find the third drive bay or should find the third drive bay and there it is there's the third drive bay remember we didn't see it before now we do now go into here device uh, disk management see you must initialize a disk before lo logical disk manager can access it okay so it couldn't I uh, use it before but that's because it wasn't initialized. Uh, you have the option of the GUID partition table or the master boot record partition table. Uh, I like the GUID partition table. Okay, now just format it. So new simple drive volume, next. Uh, size, obviously the size that it has and assign it a drive letter and this one since i'm going to be using it for video i'm going to give it a v setting uh, so just uh, next 
and this is a B quick format is fine for most cases uh, if you want you can just do a full format but that's mostly if you're going to fully wipe out the hard drive from previous uh, problems otherwise just a quick format is fine all right and there you go now it opens up as a v drive and we can see it in here as well so you might be wondering uh, why am i adding a third hard drive to this laptop when i can easily just buy an external hard drive uh, portable hard drive uh, for all my information and stuff and I still be able to use the, U uh, the advantages of the USB 3.0 well the answer is extremely simple and uh, that's because uh, an external hard drive is not convenient for whenever you're working on the go so for example if I'm at the airport and I'm working over there because I need to uh, uh, work on a deadline and stuff like that um, Carrying the external hard drive hooked to my computer is dangerous. The, uh, the port can break, the uh, actual cable can rip, the hard drive can fall off, uh, I can forget it uh, somewhere uh, while, uh, while using it if I'm rushing, and uh, several other minute possibilities, uh, you know, it's not convenient. Um, however, if I need to actually work on everything, I already have it right there and the computer is ready for me to use with all the information already there um, and it knows all the physical paths on the computer for all my files uh, as compared to a um, external drive which may vary the letter based on how many other uh, devices I have connected like for example an uh, an additional uh, flash drive, thumb drive, uh, SSD card, etc. So that can ve and vary and I don't like that uh, because uh, sometimes I'll have to waste more time trying to get it to identify where each uh, file is again if it's external. Uh, now, if I actually have it internally, everything is already uh, there. So it's easy. Mm, can't really think of anything else that needs to be said. Uh, the computer is already closed. Republic of Gamers laptops, uh, Asus, uh, they're very good. I like them personally. Uh, yes, there are faster, better laptops nowadays, but for my needs specifically, this does more than enough and I probably won't need to replace it for another two or three years uh, unless technology really, really changes. And um, but for now, I'm able to edit in 8K video uh, for VR, uh, 4K video for regular footage. Uh, definitely fast enough for Premiere, definitely fast enough for uh, a lot of things. Uh, uh, 16, 17 inch uh, and bigger laptops usually come with two internal drive bays that you can actually use for additional hard drives. If you, are in, if you care about speed, get SSD. In this particular case, I just got the Western Digital Black. It's not a hybrid drive, but it is fast enough and I like it and it has five years warranty. So that is extremely useful. Um, the Drive Caddy, I'll give out the link, uh, but you can find it for like 10 bucks in Amazon. Uh, and uh, make sure that it comes with a little, uh, with the screws inside and uh, check with your device because there's the nine and the 12 uh, uh, variants. So it'll depend on your specific machine. I like it, uh, it works, and uh, I'm able to uh, in use the third hard drive. In my particular case, it seems to be needing the SATA 3 setting. I hope you enjoyed your uh, this video and uh, I will be posting some additional videos of uh, similar nature and uh, please subscribe if you have any recommendations, suggestions and stuff, just let me know. I'll gladly do it. Um, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. See you next video. Take care. Goodbye. Peace out.